so uh, I just want to go through the build of this uh, Phantom FX61. Uh, this is my second one. Uh, my first one I've been flying for uh, more than a year now, almost a year, sorry. And uh, the things that I've learned on how to best uh, configure and uh, fly uh, the Phantom 61, I tried to incorporate on this new build. So one of the things that are different, of course, this so-so paint job. Um, it is also, if you can see there, it's uh, this is five mil laminate. And this is all throughout uh, the air frame, including uh, you know underneath. Uh, I am using a, a run cam, not the run cam two. This is the uh, I think the first generation run run cam. I'm using this as a flight camera and uh, my uh, HD camera. So they said that uh, you know to lower the latency. Uh, you have to configure it at 720. I'm running this at 1080 and I just uh, I just flew it uh, uh, Earlier today and uh, You know for a fixed wing unless you're maybe doing some crazy uh, Aerobatics it is fine. I mean, I don't really feel uh, the latency when I was uh, up in the air This is equipped with a uh, TBS crossfire uh, diversity uh, Receiver, see the antennas. These are the stock antennas. I have the uh, higher gain antennas, but I haven't put them in yet. Uh, GPS. Uh, I am using a uh, Eagle Tree vector on this setup, and uh, it's 1.3 600 milliwatt uh, VTX with a uh, blue beam uh, antenna. So. I'm gonna flip the plane and show you how plane over. So underneath, it's uh, it's also laminate, and then I'm using these uh, skids. These are I think 15 millimeters long. I'm using uh, two of them to protect the belly part. Uh, underneath, this is laminate, and then reinforced with uh, white duct tape. Uh, I used to just use foam, cut it like this, and I, I did use the, uh, put the same type of foam on my old uh, Phantom. This is to protect the control horn. I'm using a Cobra motor, 1000 kb for this one. Now this is just a uh, APC prop, and uh, well, it's not balanced, so I'm getting a lot of jello on my video, but. Uh, I am going to be using an Aeronaut uh, prop, not the folding one, but an Aeronaut CF prop. Now for the electronics, again, I'm using an Eagle Tree Vector as my autopilot and a 40 amp uh, Cobra ESC. So, you know, from my experience, 40 amp is uh, more than enough to, han to handle the amp girl on takeoff and if you want to go some crazy flying or vertical. I haven't really had any experience where I pulled more than uh, 25 amps on uh, on this airframe. Now, what I did here uh, that is quite uh, different from my old fandom is I shaved the. Uh, if you notice, that's a 10,000 milliamp uh, hour uh, multi-star battery, and it fits perfectly. It's actually I, I can make CG with this one. Now to make that happen, I had to, uh, this might look like it's stopped, but I've shaved quite a bit of foam so that uh, it can accommodate a, uh, uh, a 10,000 uh, milliamp pack. And I've done this uh, on my old uh, Phantom and uh, I actually flew uh, 22 plus uh, kilometers one way with that config. I've also uh, used uh, Two fifty-eight uh, hundred milliamp hour three uh, S uh, packs, and uh, was able to fit them in the space. But now you know it's a bit challenging on if you don't shave the foam here to fit a ten thousand milliamp hour uh, lipo pack. 
So nothing really special. Uh, it's just that you know I had to put the GPS out here, and uh, what I did here that is different from the since uh, I'm using a run cam, it needs uh, five volts. So the vector has a special, uh, or they provide a uh, what do you call this? Uh, a JST. Uh, plug that is 5 volts the other ones are 12, 12 volts so that was really it's perfect because I could just run a wire and then uh, connect it to the run cam and uh, uh, charge it not power it actually what's doing is charging the the, ma the battery that's uh, how I understood it so basically that's the that's the basic setup 